Now that we have DHCP server installed on the domain controller, we will try to configure it for IP ranges. So go to tools, go to DHCP, and if you drill down to IPv4, you can right click on IPv4 and say new scope. So this is where we are going to give the FUM IP address and two IP address. So that will be the range the client's systems will be getting. We can call it default. You can have multiple scopes, but let's call it default for now. And it should be in the same range as the PFSense box. So let's give it from 220. Actually, let's do it from 2.10. So in this case, uh, we can hand out only like 20 IP addresses to client systems. So if we have more than 20 clients, this will not be working for us. We don't need to add any exclusions, but again, we will talk about this later. And um, let's say we want to configure these options now. So in this screen, we need to give the default gateways address. So this should be the, um, the routers address in which in our case, it's the, IP, uh, the PF sense. And click add. So once you do that, you can click next. So here it took the default router address and it added to the DNS server as well. So in our case, uh, since our active directory has the DNS, we will be using our domain controller as the, the DNS server's address, right? So let's go fix that. So let's remove this and we can do 1.200. So we are telling that the DNS, please use this particular address for DNS resolution. Click next. We need to add it to the list. So once it validates and it adds it to the list, you can click next. We don't need any wins configuration at this time. So click next and you say, let's activate the scope now and click, click the finish button. So now you have a scope in here. So you can refresh it. And if you want to edit it, you can, you can do so too. You can delete this and also create another pool if you feel if like. But that is all I had for this session. Hope this all made sense. Again, once we connect the client systems, we will show you how all this comes together. So like I showed you before, if you go to Active Directory Users and Computers, at the comp uh, we created a couple of users before, but in the computers, we don't see anything because uh, we have, we do not have any computers that are connected to the same network. So in the next video, let's see how to connect our systems to the active directory domain. So we have this um, server one, windows 10, windows seven. We will connect all these to the active directory.